Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes. I understand that you are sharing. The, well, good afternoon. I'm Juliana Guerra, co-coordinator of the subgroup. The IETF LAC was created in 2013 prior to the IETF meeting in Buenos Aires. That was the only IETF meeting in Latin America. And the idea was to raise awareness in the technical community of Latin America with the discussions at IETF that meets an organization that meets three times a year and develop the internet protocols. At the time, there was not a big increase of uh, participation. That is what uh, we uh, we wanted to motivate the technical community in Latin America so that they may get involved in the discussions and the processes of IETF. So. Uh, ever since we have maintained a, a discussion list, we invite you to join us there. That list at present is not very active, but precisely what I'm coming here to tell you is that during 2020 and 2021, the group had been from the beginning had been coordinated by Alvaro Retana. And starting in, in 2020, several people uh, started updating the objectives of the group, and we've been working. It's like refocusing on the objectives of the group to reactivate it so that it will meet its initial mission. So we want to promote participation, uh, sustainable uh, participation. In the past, we had, for instance, the uh, ISO grants and other initiatives. So we wanted uh, participation, uh, stable participation. One of the things that we have identified is that it's not so easy to um, um, maintain the follow-up of what is done that. The objective of the IETF group is to try to have a more sustained participation and to facilitate the discussion of the ideas in the local language and uh, to introduce new people in the region, both in Spanish, in Portuguese, and in English. And uh, so, and to educate in uh, technologies of IETF so that they can join us. So IETF, well, the discussions uh, are on global problems. They are not uh, uh, region specific, um, but um, they, so operators and analysts, uh, um, their views are always um, uh, appreciated to solve global problems. We also know that IETF uh, includes uh, a number of themes. We're not going to uh, describe them one by one. And our idea is not to um, uh, develop internal documents or to be a parallel organization, but to focus and uh, to devote our efforts in the in uh, the introduction of a simple IETF for future participants, considering especially our language. So in the work that we did at the, uh, in late 2020 was uh, to update the vision of the group, that is to participate a broad and diverse uh, participation of the Latin American community in IETF. As was mentioned, uh, we have a very low participation of women in the technical communities and in the technical discussions of LACNIC. So it's important to have more sustained and more diverse discussions and to contribute with the experience uh, uh, from the region and uh, um, to facilitate 
um, and especially to keep people informed of what is happening in IETF. We also want to say that part of the actions that we are looking for in this new stage is to facilitate the collaboration between the different stakeholders, the ac academia, the government, civil society, technical co uh, community, operators, and to promote the discussion in Spanish and Portuguese and not just in English, that is uh, what happens in IETF, and to try to strengthen them where they exist or to create and promote these uh, knowledge tools. So it is for that purpose that we are training people on processes and IETF uh, processes, and there are talks and uh, meetings about these themes and the idea is also to develop uh, uh, materials and to translate existing material. Another thing that we have been working with in initially in 2021 was that although IETF LACA, um, that we may be sometimes uh, overburdened with uh, uh, um, uh, when Alvaro Retano left, we want to formalize this uh, change of baton uh, for the new coordination of the group how, and to define how the group will work with the idea that increasingly we'll have a more permanent activity in the group. The presentation is available in the website of uh, LACNIC 37 and it w is structured how the coordination of uh, uh, of the group the next slide please thank you and some of the activities in which we participate in the organization or we participate um, um, Somehow, for instance, in the workshop IETF organized by the Brazilian uh, organization and the technical sessions in uh, uh, this uh, meeting that uh, is around July every year. It's a joint activity between IETF and the Brazilian Society of Computing and ISO, the Brazil chapter. And we also try to promote the existence of uh, versions and to try to disseminate local versions of uh, uh, introductory uh, documents of IETF. And we have, for instance, the Argentine meetings of computing, where sometimes they discuss the IETF topics. And as a group, we organized pre-IETF uh, uh, meetings remote before the first annual meeting of IETF in March and the third in November. Now, early in March, we had an IETF meeting, and there, we, there they were uh, they presented either drafts that are being developed by the technical community in the region or academic and technical documents that are not necessarily being developed in the format of IETF, but that uh, discuss uh, issues related to the protocols. So that is a rather informal meeting, and we uh, try to have a space uh, of what uh, to discuss the things that are going to be discussed in IETF and other topics and general topics. And the next one is planned for either early November or late October. And other activities that are not absolutely active now are to make presentations with uh, uh, to develop presentations with current uh, topics related to IETF and to promote uh, the development of specific topics and standards and to promote uh, um, the uh, an active discussion in the list and mentoring 
activities or collaboration in, among the technical community for developing drafts and to try to have a more active discussion in the list and in the pre-IETF uh, and uh, as, w as well as we have the pre-IETF uh, meetings also to organize more webinars. Well, so that is what we had to tell you. So I open the participation to participate and to share whatever you are developing uh, related to IETF. And if you have any, uh, if you want to contact me, there, I'll leave the mail, my email address. Thank you, Juliana. Because of time constraints, we are not going to leave uh, time for questions. We thank you for your presentation. And you can write to Juliana. That's, that's her email address.